Since the beginning of the war in Gaza following the Hamas terror attack on Israeli soil, more than 100 Palestinian media workers have been killed in Gaza, making it the deadliest conflict ever for journalists. Through the Gaza Project, 50 journalists coordinated by Forbidden Stories joined forces to investigate the alleged targeting of media workers and press facilities by the Israeli military in Palestine. To conduct this investigation, we focused on instances where media professionals were prevented from doing their work, injured or killed. We identified at least 18 journalists and media workers who were allegedly hit by precision strikes launched from drones. Several drone experts told Forbidden Stories that drones have the technological capabilities to avoid collateral damage. Some drone models used by the Israeli forces have clear visibility, which would allow them to identify a press vest. We found that at least four journalists killed by drones were wearing a press vest. Additionally, the missiles carried by drones can be aimed with precision at targets, hitting within a foot of where the laser points. It can't be so many just coincidences. There is clearly uh, targeting going on and targeting journalists disproportionately kill killing civilians is a war crime. There is an obligation on the fighting parties, the belligerents, uh, to respect journalists and that's why journalists put on, you know, mark themselves as press. The Israeli military has repeatedly said it does not deliberately target journalists. Presented with our findings, an Israeli military spokesperson said strikes were administered in accordance with international humanitarian law and that no airstrikes were conducted without oversight, approval and final execution by IDF officers. 